Congratulations! What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh Woody Woodpecker, uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Tweaky. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> no doubt about it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz buzzard, resident of bodyguards by Buzz. <laughs> Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your, uh, perchance, uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, I, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Uh, who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Boozard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Bazaard. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky, all we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me and I'll have bitches! Get back here, you, you little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, yeah! oh, that Woody Woodpecker! His first day in Hollywood and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <gasps> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgorse, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. Ah! Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. They're, uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, oh, oh. Jungle, Woody to the rescue. Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. We 
see you one last, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! 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 Woody Blackbell will defend my honor. I make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant, Sacco Baffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Not a money way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? Are you nuts? Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds! <laughs> <laughs> A new home for my Swedish petunias to bloom. <gasps> oh, yoinky doinky, my bloomers. <sighs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wally. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Oh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Voris knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> oh, Woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally! Now, let's just see how fast the competition. Yeah! Ah! No! What a wild goose chase that was. Yeah. Ugh, no wheel anywhere. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've got competition, Nuthead. <laughs> you call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret, just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bet. <laughs> 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 hey, better get a closer look at what's in that can. Swamp gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? <laughs> it's too yummy to be swamp gas. <laughs> oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, <laughs> 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 yummy. <laughs> 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 It's too dark. I'll just... No! Oh, burn. Nighthead, 
you think Wally here's trying to sabotage us? Insert tubing A into pipe fitting C. Check. This is one mean green racing machine. With Troy Tank toilet water powered booster capabilities. Shh! It's that wiener Wally again. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> the big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I get to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Ooh, double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Voris, one time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set. Go! <laughs> Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! <laughs> Hiya, buddy. <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> There's always next year, Wally. <laughs> Building dams? Check. Frogs setting lily pads? Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives? Check. What? How is it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. <laughs> Your file shows over 3,000 infractions in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. Bye. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? <laughs> Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. But I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. Ah, oh, schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. 
You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. <gasps> itch. Itch beautiful. What is it? He's a winner! Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? <laughs> yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. <laughs> Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. Oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a superb sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business for this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. Fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... You probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. A <laughs> hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm gonna catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody! Woodrow! Here I come! Yikes! Mother Nature! Why, Woody, it's... it's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh, uh, yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. <laughs>
right, Woodpecker. I'm selling my property. Ooh, you mean it? You're leaving? I'll help you pack. It's your nonsense I'm particularly sick of. You busting my roof, destroying my lawn. I'm through with it all, I tell ya. So long. Don't forget to write. Miss Meanie, I would want to buy this lovely property of yours. Yeah, sure. Do tell me more, Walrus. And I would yop down this tree. Oh, wait, Wally, not my tree. Right up an offer, Mr. Walrus. You buy this place and you can do anything you want with that tree. Meantime, I'm trying out the very exclusive, very modern Mondo Condos across town. And if all goes well, I'll be signing on their dotted line tomorrow. No more homeowner headaches and no more woodpecker. That's right. No more woodpecker. Mm, mm, mm. But you can't kick me out into the cruel, cruel world like this. What'll become of me? Where'll I go? You'll get off my windshield, for starters, woodpecker. Guess I'm gonna have to show her the grass is greener on this side of the fence. <laughs> You'll be staying the weekend in our luxurious sample unit, Ms. Meanie. I tell you, dearie, a Mondo condo very nearly takes care of itself. Hot diggity! And I hope we'll find that you're Mondo condo kind of people, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> Now, let's see what this modern condo living is all about. Please step away from the Easy Pal 9000. Step away from the system. <gasps> oh, my! The automated settings have been preset to maximize your living ease. Well, isn't this convenient? Step onto the automated floor covering. The Easy Pal 9000 will escort you into the home of the future. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Miss Needy, darling, did we hear some noise? Ah! Uh, be right with you! Land seats! Ah! We just wanted to remind you about our little poolside social. Oh, are you kidding? I wouldn't dream of wearing this old thing, not in a million! <laughs> And, and tell you what, why don't I whip up a little snacky treat for the little eat and greet? I'll bet my automated kitchen can help me pull something together and I'll automatically be in with the in crowd. <laughs> automatically. That's a good one. I'll make my famous turkey souffle. <laughs> Your turkey is done. Holy smoking turkey! <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh! <laughs> One more modern convenience, and Meanie will beg to go back home. <laughs> oh, my soaking lumbar. <sighs> ah, time to relax. Just lie back and allow the Mondo Condo's fully automatic massage chair to work its magic. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meanie, there's something we should discuss. Huh? Why, I never. Voila! Cabana Boy to the rescue! <laughs> Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 
are finished at Mondo Condo, Ms. Meanie. So toodaloo. Feel free to come back and visit. Uh, never. Now you listen to me, Mr. and Mrs. Snooty Pants. <gasps> Who would stand for this nerve-wracking, hooty-tooty automated living you think is so modern? Certainly not me! That's who. So toodaloo to you! Woodpecker, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, how about, well, 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 I'm um, just coming to check the place out. Uh, with you selling my, my tree house, I, I gotta live somewhere, you know. Ah! Forget it, Woody. <laughs> I wouldn't even let you live here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's music to my ears, Woodpecker. <laughs> What have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my pot chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming ordered in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds they're in. No delicious banana nut bread. And no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh. Oh. You destroy my element of surprise! <laughs> How humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> Peace. 
Oh, oh, capital, positively capital. <laughs> Another brilliant solution. Now oh, you listen here, you rooter beggar rubber, you <laughs> you horseradish highwayman! I demand my fair share of the spoils. <gasps> Oh, dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. I must endure. Boy, oh boy, what a perfect day. Today's the day I take an incredible expedition into the great outdoors. I'll forage every stream, climb every mountain. <sighs> I'll boldly go where no woodpecker has gone before. <laughs> okay, that's far enough. Boss, look! A house! <laughs> All houses got food in them! Oh, 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 oh. Forget about it. We're going dead. You see, Grant, picnics are better than just food. They're an ant's Shangri-La. Is Shangri-La French for food? <laughs> Move out! the orange, Grant. Take the orange. Spray you, Woodpecker, but if you keep bothering me, I will, by Yingo.
Sweet Toe Jam! I tell you, nothing ruins the great outdoors like nature. You know, nobody uses a leaf blower in a house, Anthony. Hey, quit your squawking. You're surrounded by food, aren't you? Say, what are you doing with my grub, bub? Don't mind us, woodpecker. We got to eat in disorder. As in, disorder is to go. <laughs> Detector will take care of anything that moves. So, you've had enough, have you? Greetings. We offer you this peace, off uh, peace offering in an attempt to form a trace. Truce with your tallness and big-footedness. Truce, huh? I thought you guys would come around. Now beat it so I can enjoy my day. Food, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> trying to have a nice picnic over here. Keep it down. Nice picnic? Nice picnic? Oh, yeah. A nice picnic. I know just what you mean. You crazy woodpecker. You think he's stopping? I don't know. Let's take a look. Ready? <gasps> Anthony, look! Shangri-La! So long! See you later! Nice doing business with you! If you can't beat them, send them to your neighbor! No! Lance! No! Get away! <laughs> Hungry for a real Highland treat out there in TV land? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, just point the remote at yourself, Woody, and follow me into Butter Scotchy Land. Oh, boy. Now 
Now, where are my butterscotchy finger pies? <laughs> uh, last Monday night's munchies. <laughs> Tuesday night's temptation. Wednesday night. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. <laughs> uh, I is forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's Cash and Dash. Not BB's Freebies. Not Barry and Larry's Take Whatever You Can Carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Lash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Ha-cha-cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. Ah, the sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Scotty finger pie. Doki, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie, here I come. <laughs> 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 
drink. I need a drink. <laughs> As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! Get my man. <laughs> what are you stopping for, pub? <laughs> Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. <laughs> ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> him out.
Well, I'll be. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, <laughs> lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? <laughs> What a workout. Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's... To quote my great-granddaddy when he was taken into captivity... is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat. That's it. I'll be a professional chicken. <laughs> What are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get your back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? So, stealing eggs, eh? Why, I'm gonna... Find me! She's it! She's it! She's it! She's it! What's going on? When a chicken has laid a million eggs, she is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal measure. Joy? 
Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying. Okay, okay, break it up, break it up. Get back to work, you lazy bums. Hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh, because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood... I mean chickens down here. Gravel and quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. Profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Woody! Woody! For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. Back, 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 back